Hello, hello, YouTube. What is going on, guys? It's GZTV back with another video, and we are here to review the comeback album, the brand new Gunna album, A Gift and a Curse. Um, one of my favorite, probably, sh I guess, street rappers, if you want to call it, over the last, like, four or five years. I mean, he's been fantastic for me. Uh, I've loved his music. Um, he he didn't snitch on me, man. I, I, I don't really care what anyone says. Like, they're going to use, like, these... Uh, him copying a plea deal, deal against him when going into this album. I mean, I don't usually care to look at the person that's making the music. I, I, I mean, that maybe that sounds selfish to say, but yeah, uh, going into this album, I didn't really expect there to be features. We didn't get features um, because honestly, I don't think I don't know how many people fuck with this man anymore, like in the music industry. But Gunna, um, one of my favorite artists over the last years, man. I, I've I've lo I've loved his music. So, let's just talk about this album. Um, it's a it was a surprise. It was announced like a couple days in advance. No promo, no nothing. He kind of just gave us an album, and that's a pretty cool approach to doing this, honestly. Um, we're gonna go track by track. You guys kind of know how these reviews go. I've done this a couple of times. I'm kind of done doing edited reactions, like me making faces and stuff. I have a VOD on Twitch. They might have blocked it. I don't know. But if you want to go look at my reaction, just go do that. I'm just gonna do that from now on, unless it's like Uzi or Travis, who we know is dropping soon. But I'm back at it. Um, this is what an intro should sh sound like. You know, kind of not super hype, but like getting fans into the album. Hooking them in with some dope dope guitars and hi-hats on this thing. I, I love the beats on here. Um, overall, this project has amazing production. Uh, Back to the Moon. This song is amazing. This song actually came with a music video today as I'm recording this. Um, I, like, What else is there to say? Back to the Moon is awesome. He starts spazzing on the hook. Um, you don't hear often on a hook a rapper like flowing like that. But um, I don't know no more. Um, it kind of sounds like... The beat kind of sounds like a song off of Funeral by Lil Wayne. That's what it kind of reminded me of. Um, I can't think of what that song's called. Uh, it's like the intro of the album. But um, a lot of these songs, I'm not going to have too much to say. We're, I, I just kind of want to get into the general notes. But um, moving on, though, Payback. Um, he has a great vocal performance, although it is a bit of a generic Gunna song. And you will hear that from me on a couple of songs on here. Um, cash it. Uh, this was like the start of a great track run on here. Um, the ATM sounds a nice, quick, you know, a little over two minute banger. Um, it's fun. It's a really fun track. Um, yeah, fuck you mean. It kind of has the same flow of an unreleased song I remember hearing. Um, the guy saying "yup" kind of sounds like Matt Ox for some reason. Um, there were some questionable bars on here overall. Like as a lyricist, Gun is obviously not strong, but QP ski, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the crazy transition into Rodeo Drive is obviously the highlight. People are raving on Twitter about this, and for good reason. I mean, it's amazing. Uh, wow, this song is awesome. It's amazing. You know, the haters are quiet, dude. After hearing this album, after hearing this guy rap his ass off, OJ, I love this. This is an all-time great song for Gunna. This might be like a top 10 to 15 best Gunna songs. I love this song that much um bottom uh great production on here i love the bass just kind of looming in the background obviously we have turbo turbo didn't switch up on gunna we know that wheezy did but that p the piano on this song as well it's just it's just great overall this album is just awesome uh p angels um had some had some cool flows in some spots of this track and we're just keeping it p you know gunna's never gonna switch up in that aspect um, Born Rich, uh, kind of has an awkward hook, and once you get to, like, P. Angels and Born Rich, this is like, okay, I'm kind of tuned out of this album a little bit, we got the bangers we needed, and, and I have really no negative things to say, obviously there are some weak songs on here, um, Born Rich kind of has, like, a YB type of beat on it, I don't know, uh, Go Crazy, um, isn't a bad track, Turns Your Back, I mean, a lot of people did that, I mean, he's actually talking about things on this record, he has a lot of things to talk about on this record so yeah i was just thinking at this point the album's getting old um and our rights another generic song still cool but yeah i would say the first half of the album is way better than the second um yeah a lot of backlash against gunna but i'm obviously going to be tuned into this like you guys should have known that i was going to listen to this um some of the tease tracks have been great, um, but I'm kind of disappointed because we didn't really get any of them. 
maybe some of those tracks were like reworked versions of them, but we didn't get any. And I'm doing this in one take. I was thinking about chopping it up, but we're freestyling it. I just want it to be on my main page, which is like the main front of my page so people can watch it, which is why I'm kind of, you know, recording it. Um... Um, I love Twitter, like coming together, showing love for this album, despite all the all the things he's done. Um, again, the production is great. The uh, Gunna never misses on flows. He has some of the best flows in the rap game. Um, album art is interesting to say the least. I can't say I've seen an album art like this. Um, and literally, right after this album dropped, Thug posted to Instagram that he's dropping an album in six days. I think. I think that is what he is implying. Everyone's reposting it. Maybe it's an announcement he's free from jail and he's going to start an album rollout. I don't know. But whatever it is, after that timer goes off, we're getting something from Thugger. I don't know if that's like a coincidence. Maybe Is he clapping back at Gunna? I'm not really sure like what the dynamic of their relationship is. Yeah, he's rapping like Rents do, though. Gunna on this project. He really is. Um... I, I hate comparing him to Lil Baby all the time, but they're just so, like, intertwined with each other. Like, Lil Baby can never make an album like this. Maybe that's crazy to say. Well, ma like, Lil Baby probably has albums better than this, but I'm saying just the fact this guy's coming in here with no features, uh, a minimal group of producers. He doesn't have, like, he doesn't have Southside. He doesn't have Wheezy on this thing. Like, the only big producer I heard was Turbo. So, yeah, I don't think, it, I don't know. Has Gunna ever made, like, a really bad album? I don't know, man. Like, has, has he ever missed? Like, that's the question I was kind of asking myself as I was listening to this album as well. Um, absolute anthems on this thing. Um, this is a really cool album for the summer, and this is going to be a great summer, dude. Like, wow, man. There's going to be some amazing albums coming out this summer, and this is a good start to it. We have a, like, crazy stretch where I don't even know if there's going to be any bad artists dropping. But, um straight anthems on this thing um i'm not gonna hype it up too much but if you haven't listened to it please go listen to it uh let's just see what apple music has to say real quick before we tune out of the video so 18 months before a gift and a curse gunna was in a very different position uh the georgia native ushered in 2022 with the chart topping success of drip season forever and its lexicon altering hits with the and so you know songs with young thug uh, in May of that year, both he and his YSL label boss found themselves under indictment in a sweeping RICO case. By December, he was free, only to be faced with wild speculation over the terms of his release. Um, caught up in the fallout, he clapped back over the rumors and narratives that formed about and around him and hit us with a random single. Um, scarred and singed by some of the most damaging accusations one could face in the rap game or the streets, he unloads his lyrical clip in spectacular fashion on his first album since his arrest. Um, and I kind of want to go back and listen to this and listen to the lyrics because he's actually saying something, like, genuinely. Um, throughout A Gift and a Curse, Gunna makes it a point to address his predicament head-on, offering his perspective as unique as the circumstances. A defiant superstar, he reintroduces himself to his fans and haters alike on simmering tracks, following it swift, uh, following up on, on the intro, following it swiftly with the confidence... And being confidential, being confrontational, all these sort of things. He shakes his head and shrugs his shoulders over what's changed while returning to the lavish normalcy of his pre-arrest lifestyle, you know, on certain tracks. Um, you know, he gives us a grand finale as well where he sees the path forward clearer than ever, shouting at YSL amid a hopeful chorus. And this kind of shows you that he's still kind of connected with YSL. He still supports every member. Um... Yeah, he he snitched on them. I guess like I like that's not even what that means. I, I do people know what a plea deal means? Um, yeah, like maybe he's using that to like clear his name. But come on, this guy was associate like he's associated with a record label, and they're trying to make it sound like oh this is a gang. This record label is a gang, and because Gunna is like his name's attached to it because he signed a contract, that means he's doing all of these things. That's like what the hell they try to say about this man. So, yeah, I would want to clear my name, too. I don't know. Maybe people just don't understand the circumstances of it all. If you want to, like, debate this in the comments, feel free to. But I'm out, guys. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. Very exciting release for Gunna here. Um, we're going to do another review this weekend on Sofago's EP. Obviously not a strong last album from him, but I've always liked Sofago. So let's clap it up for Gunna, though, man. He gave us a really solid album. Uh, have a good rest of your guys' day. This is probably... 
the last video that's going to be posted on the channel for today. So yeah.